Sanjibalisco here uh, with a little bit of uh, advice for you and as to how to put up a dipole antenna for field day, particularly for 40 or 75 meters. My call sign W1GV Whiskey 1. Good vibrations at your soybeans. There's a common myth out there about dipole antennas and how to get them to radiate straight up. For field day, generally speaking, you want to make stateside contacts and on particularly on 75 meters and 80 meters, uh, they are going to be fairly close to you and the optimum angle of radiation can, for all intents and purposes, be considered perpendicular to the surface of the Earth. Well, the surface of the Earth shown right here is a heavy black line is actually five to ten feet or so above effective ground the plane of the effective ground if you place an antenna exactly a quarter of a wavelength in free space a free space quarter wavelength above that effective ground your you will get a maximum lobe going straight up as if you had a two element end fire array. How it works is that as the dipole radiates the wave down towards this effective surface, it travels a quarter of a wave length through space and is shifted by 90 degrees. It reflects from that effective ground and reverses in phase so now you've got 270 degree phase shift then it has to go back up to the antenna another quarter of a wavelength 90 more degrees a 360 degree phase shift back in phase with the current in the dipole so what happens then is that you're you've got an effect a, an image antenna a quarter of a wavelength below effective ground uh, assuming perfect conductivity in the ground uh, which of course is not, never true but for you know let's fantasize and make approximations on that what you get then is in effect a two element end fire array that produces a reinforced phase going straight up. So what is a quarter of a wavelength in free space on 80 meters, you might ask? Ah, it's about 70 feet. About 70 feet. Now I've seen people put antennas like this very low down to the ground, thinking that that'll produce a maximum radiation going straight up. And they're correct, it will. But it will also be far from the optimal in-phase relation that you need for a good, strong signal going straight up. You're going to have an awful lot of ground loss and a very low feed point impedance, resulting in a high standing wave ratio. So if you, your ideal situation is to put the antenna a quarter of a wavelength up if you can, and it's pretty hard to get it that high, but get it as high as you can a half wave dipole fed with 50 ohm coax and using a ballon coil it's that simple 50 ohm coax half wave dipole ballon at the center and 70 feet off the ground will get you all the contacts you can possibly get for a simple practical field day antenna. Now where are you going to find a structure or support 70 feet high? Well, look for some big trees is all I can tell you. But you can do it and failing that uh, just get it up as high as you can. But as for this business about placing it three feet off the ground so that everybody runs into it in the darkness, uh, forget it. That's, that's a myth. That's a myth. And it's a common myth, too. Destroyed at your service from W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. 
saying 73, which means best regards in ham radio jargon, and so long, which on my part of the 75 and 80 meter band means da-da-da-da-da-da. -da 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 -da.